Okay, so in this lesson, you know, I had you pronounce something before in the previous lesson, but this lesson we're going to kind of see the difference, okay? Now, the difference being that, you know, before you didn't calibrate your printer and your screen to match each other, okay? Now we're going to kind of calibrate those together. That way, if you're doing a digital photo manipulation or digital art, they match as far as your printer goes. Okay, so this is how you do it. First off, you have to find your control panel. And you also have to find your display icon. Under your display icon, there's settings. And I have an advanced tab. I want to go to the color management tab of this. And right now, I have Adobe RBG 1998 in here. Okay, so if you do not have this, all you do is hit add and choose Adobe RBG 1998. Add. Okay, now you're thinking to yourself, wow, 1998 was a very long time ago. Why are you choosing a very old um, color scheme? But color has been around for decades, and it's not like we've discovered like a new form of orange or anything like that. And if we have, you know, it's probably Crayola's job to actually name that like Macaroni 2 or something like that. But just know that because there is no new colors being introduced to the world, uh, this will work just fine. Okay. Let's just hit OK. And hit OK. Okay, now, how do we set this up in Photoshop? Let's go to Photoshop. And let's go to color settings. Okay, so I want to take this and turn it to custom. Okay, for the RGB value of it, I want Adobe 1998 RGB. Okay, for the CMYK, I'm going to leave alone. And for the gray and other thing I'm going to leave alone. Now, another thing I like doing is this. Profile mismatches. I want to say put a check mark in all of these. What this will do, it will give you a warning saying, hey, this picture has its own color settings within it. And you might want to preserve those color settings. So I do. I do want to preserve some color settings. There are certain applications that I change the color on. Some I don't. Uh, when I'm going out for print, um, you know, I'll print out something and kind of match the color settings to my printer. But when it comes to the web, maybe I don't want to do that. So that's why I say, ask when opening, ask when pasting, ask when um, with the profiles missing, and hit OK. Now that it's going to nag you a little bit when you use Photoshop, but you'll learn to love it. Okay. So now let's go to File Print and print the same thing that you printed for the last lesson. This time, you'll see that the color management says this. Let's say Photoshop manages the colors. And in here, it says now Adobe RBG 1998. Okay. In here, I'm just going to leave this alone and do a print. Now, take the first print and compare it to the second print and see if you see anything different. Now, you might not. You might not see the difference between the two. Um, the difference between the two might be so, you know, laid down that you won't see it because these pictures have already been set as far as like their color settings so just kind of know later on when you, you're printing something kind of you know you might want to switch back and forth between you know the old one which is the let's see this one right here and this one and kind of see the difference between the two and you can kind of see you know which one's a little bit better for your printer I've always used the Adobe RBG 1998 and like uh, just love its results so hit print 
do a result check and uh that's it for this lesson all right so have a good one